One of the most interesting aspects of showing here, putting these pieces in the Colburn School of Music is certainly the context, the immediate context. When I was in architecture school, my last year of finishing architecture school, I was required to do a thesis and I had, I was only required to do one more course and I did a course in Bach, Beethoven, Brahms, Wagner and Stravinsky and I spent hours poring over the score, poring over the score of Bach's Brandenburg Concerto No. 5. Just hours listening to it over and over again and trying to imagine if, if the notes and the structures were, say, some kind of load-bearing structure for a building. So I viewed this opportunity to show at the Colburn School as a chance to engage that crossover between, between music and photography or music and architectural structure. I will say one thing that I felt when I was standing in the cafeteria of the Colburn School and placing Velvet Locomotion, I could see, looking through the windows, I could see both the Colburn School structure and the Isosaki, the Mocha structure. When, I, when we finally hung my art piece there, I felt a very strong connection between the geometries and the tradition of geometry in my piece and in certainly the Hardy Holtzman and Pfeiffer, certainly the Colburn School is, let's say, derivative or makes references to Mocha. And I stood there and I was looking at my piece and looking at the cafeteria and thinking of what made Hardy and Holtzman and Pfeiffer, what was in their mind when they were designing this red facade with lines that go across the facade. And I looked at my own picture, which had that same linear sort of there were these delineated lines going through my piece in a very similar way. Both very rectilinear pieces and it made me consider that if you could take the buildings away, the material buildings away, and you went back to the old landscape with no building there, and you could just somehow in abstract project the lines of the architecture where there are all, this, all these horizontal and vertical lines, very very rectilinear structures. They are part of this thousands of year old traditions that we have in architecture, especially, uh, let, let's say, even more abstracted as of the last decades, and let's say centuries, but certainly decades. And I realized that my piece was certainly part of that tradition, not only because of my own background in architecture, but when I was shooting the Velvet Locomotion piece in Prague, I was giving preference to that delineated geometry. I wasn't just thinking about my piece, I was just thinking how we all inherit these traditions and live within these traditions. Grand Avenue, I think, is like no other place as a cultural center. I can't think of other cities where it's so unconnected to so much else around. Colburn School is surrounded by Mocha, by Isosaki's Jewel and by Liz Diller's Jewel, the new Broad Museum, and by Gary's Disney Concert Hall. And so there are all these beautiful museum pieces 
and not any immediate urban fabric support it. Each one is a distinct proposal. There's the loose Frank Gehry's sort of wide open loose forms and the very closed in tight new Broad Museum. I gave this exhibition the title Timelines because the photographs are true photographic timelines. They are shot in camera, they're not after effects, with a camera contraption that allows me to shoot left to right true timelines like a seismograph or an electrocardiogram. I was very excited about the prospect of showing at the Colburn because music is also delineated or at least transcribed in timelines. The musical score is a timeline per se. I think the, the most interesting aspect of showing the works inside the school is to engage that shared cultural tradition and to try in some way to make something provocative.